What's going on guys? It is Bernardo from the BTN HD and do not freak out. There is sound on this video. You just saw a quick unboxing on Lenovo's Legion 5 gaming laptop. So what comes inside the box? We have our safety and warranty guide right here. We also have a Lenovo Legion 5 setup guide. Cool. We have a heavy gauge power cable and we also have our 230 watt power supply which actually weighs around 1.95 pounds okay so i'm going to take the power supply and the power adapter i'm going to plug this guy in real quick awesome let's put this stuff to the side and then we have the beautiful legion 5i weighing around 5.05 pounds with a thickness of 0.98 inches now the color on the 5i is Phantom Black, which I am a huge fan of. Good choice Lenovo with the color. So the Legion 5i has a lot of ports. So if you have the laptop facing you to the point that you are able to open it up, on your right hand side we have one 3.1 USB port. On your left hand side we have one audio combo jack and then we have an additional 3.1 USB port always on charging. On the backhand side, we have one RJ45 Ethernet port. We have a Type C port, which supports uh, actually a monitor hookup. And then we have two additional 3.1 USB ports, our HDMI, and last but not least, our power port. All right, so we just went over some of the ports on the Legion 5i from Lenovo. Uh, a lot of ports, that's a good thing, right? So let's open this guy up. One of the cool things about the Legion 5i is that Lenovo actually added the notch right on top of the display, which gives you easy access to open up the lid with no problem. Look at that beautiful display, awesome. Now the power button on the Legion 5i is actually located right here at the top of the keyboard. Uh, let's power this guy on real quick, awesome. One of the cool things about the power button, it is actually an indicator of your thermal mode. Uh, you can actually use the key of function Q to uh, cycle through three modes. By default, it goes to blue, which blue means quiet mode. If you click on function Q again, it will change to white. White is basically your balance mode. And if you hit the toggle key of function Q, it should change to red, which is your performance mode. I did have some issues with that. I will go over that pretty soon, so don't worry about that. Okay, so let's take a look at the trackpad, keyboard, speakers, and the display on the Legion 5i. So trackpad, using a trackpad was pretty smooth. Uh, I was not disappointed, it just works. If you wanna know the measurement of the trackpad, if you actually take two quarters, one nickel, two dimes, that's gonna measure around 4.16 inches. Now for the keyboard, it's actually a full keyboard layout which actually gives you the number pad on your right hand side, that's awesome. Using the keyboard itself, didn't have any issues. Uh, the keys are super responsive, uh, reacts real quick, which works great when you're gaming. Uh, so I didn't have too much problems on the keyboard. Now, if you want to know the distance between each key, if you take a nickel and a dime, that's actually going to measure around 0 0.11 inches. Now, the keyboard itself is backlit. Uh, standard one is white, but you are able to configure the Legion 5i to have four zone RGB uh, color on the backlit of the keyboard. Now, for speakers, speakers are actually located at the very bottom on your left and your right hand side. Uh, which works great if you have the laptop on a hard surface because then the sound bounce off. The loudness that I got on these speakers, even though I went inside and I configured the settings to be real loud, I got up to 87.7 decibels. Now for the display on the Legion 5i at the very top, you have a 720 webcam. Uh, you also have the privacy guard for the webcam, which is pretty easy to uh, slide to the left and the right sometimes. It sometimes gets stuck, but it works. Now the display size on the Legion 5i, it is 15.6 inches IPS anti-glare technology on the display, which is awesome. Uh, the resolution for this machine is around 1920 by 1080. And the refresh rate on this machine is actually 144 hertz. Now the brightness level, right now I think this is the highest on the brightness that I got. And this is the lowest. Now, one of the problems that I noticed on the Legion 5i, I don't know if it's because this is a review unit and other people touched it, but I noticed that when you lower down the brightness, it, it's really slow. Right now, this is the highest. And if I lowered it down, you see how 
it's really slow to dimmer down the brightness, that kind of freaked me out. If you want to know the level of brightness on the display is around 300 nits. The Legion 5i does have Windows HDR, but that's basically Windows 10 enable feature, but only for streaming. And one of the things that I noticed on the display is by default, the scaling is around 150. So I do recommend going inside the display and reducing the scale to 100% which gives you a nice real estate to see everything on your desktop. All right, so we just finished talking about the display on the Legion 5i. Let's talk about the specifications because this guy is a monster. All right, so on the desktop, let's right click on the taskbar. Let's go to task manager. Let's open this guy up real quick. Awesome, let's go to performance. And I'm gonna right click on the CPU, go to change graph to a logical processor. So this machine is configured with the following. It is running an Intel i7 core processor with a 10750H CPU. Clock speed is actually 2.60 gigahertz. It has six cores, 12 logical processors. The memory right now is 16 gigs. It has a one terabyte solid state drive. Uh, for the GPU, it comes with the standard Intel Ultra HD graphics. And for gaming, it comes with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. Now, this machine was able to handle everything that I do every day. Uh, I was able to do Premiere, you know, edit 4K, render 4K using Meteor Encoder. I was able to do a little bit of coloring with DaVinci Resolve, edit my uh, screen capture stuff within Camtasia. I was even able to render and watch movies online with no problems. Uh, I did use this machine a lot with dual monitors. I, I felt comfortable using this machine with dual monitors. You know, have one monitor viewing movies and the other monitor just editing. It just worked perfect. Now for heating, I did notice heating around this area and a little bit around the display. Now don't get me wrong, the Legion 5i does have vents on your right, your left, and on the back as well as at the bottom. The only thing I do not like about the vent design on the back and on the side is that it just stops short. It would have been awesome if it just goes all the way around from the back. So it would be to the side, to the back, right? It just stops and then it goes to the back. Now, when I was gaming on this particular machine with Fortnite and Street Fighter and a little bit of Jump Force, uh, one cool thing is the, the thermal mode. You're able to go inside the Vantage app and configure it to automatically adjust it when you're playing a high intense game. I do recommend to turn that feature on automatically. It works great. Now, I did notice that the performance mode did not turn on when I was playing Fortnite, but when I was playing Street Fighter, it turned on with no problem. Now, you do have a toggle key of function Q, which allows you to cycle all three of them. I did have some problems toggling between all three cycles. Again, you have blue, which is quiet mode. That's the default one. Uh, you have balance mode, which is white. And then last but not least, performance mode, which is red. You're supposed to automatically do function Q to toggle all three of them. Um, when I started playing Street Fighter, then... I was able to toggle between all three of them. But for some reason, I can't toggle right now. It only goes to silent and it also goes into balance. I'm not able to hit that third one. So I feel like if I was playing like an intense game right now and I turn it off, then I'm able to toggle between all three modes. Now for fan mode, I didn't hear anything on the fan mode. Uh, typically by default, it is always on quiet mode, which is blue. When you're playing intense games like Street Fighter, uh, I did hear a little bit of fan noise, but it wasn't to the point that it was driving me crazy. It did not sound like a, like a jet engine taking off. But you know, fan noise is there, but is not really intense. All right, so the performance is there, especially this machine is just epic. Again, beast mode, right? Uh, how about the battery? Because laptops for me always have to have a great battery. Unfortunately, with the gaming laptops, batteries are not too great. Uh, so I ran PC Mark 10 on this machine. So let's look at the results. Now, I basically ran a modern office battery life. It took around four hours and 30 minutes. And I ran the gaming, uh, the gaming test, and it only lasts about an hour and 56 minutes. If you're trying to game with this machine without being plugged into your Outlook to get power, uh, you're going to get a lot of lag. Your frames per seconds are going to decrease. 
because of the graphics card. Like the graphics card needs that juice. If you're only running on the battery on this particular machine, it's just, it sucks, all right? So I do not recommend that. Uh, don't get me wrong, you are able to boot into the advanced startup on the machine and get inside BIOS and configure the graphics card to do discrete or dynamic. By default, this machine is configured on the BIOS to be dynamic. So I, I read a couple of articles online that changing your graphics card to discrete will kind of mess up the system. So just be careful how you configure it. All right, so let's conclude our review on the Legion 5i. Oh, wow. Uh, what can I say? This machine is super affordable with price. Uh, retail starting price is around $1,000. The highest that you could go in this machine is $1,500. What are you thinking, Lenovo? You're basically giving it away. With this type of specifications, what? You guys are just basically giving away this machine. Holy moly, it is crazy. Now, the only thing I do not like about the laptop is it lacks one port that I like to use a lot because again, I'm a videographer and I need that SD card reader, right? And maybe one additional uh, type C port. Now I do enjoy the thermal design. That is, I didn't hear any fan noise. Uh, the majority of the time is always on default in silent mode, right? Now, another thing that I noticed about the 5i is that there is Harley fingerprints and I'm constantly touching it. And with me with laptops, I'm constantly cleaning it all the time because I like to keep it nice and clean, right? You spend a lot of money, you want to keep it nice and clean. And I'm always constantly touching it and I did not notice any fingerprints. So that's huge. Whatever you did Lenovo on this laptop, continue doing that to all your laptops in your lineup. And last but not least, uh, I do enjoy the Lenovo Vantage app. Uh, this is when, this is a good thing to have. I noticed that Vantage is normally packaged up to almost all their Lenovo laptops. But using this particular app on the Legion, it's an extra bonus. You know, you're able to see the CPU usage. You're able to configure your thermal mode right here, right? So right now, good example would be if I do function Q, goes to balance. If I do function Q again, it should go to performance mode and it doesn't do that. So if I click on performance mode, it kicks in. It's supposed to kick in and it's supposed to change to red. Right now, it's not doing it. It's on white. And that's the problem that I had. Now, don't get me wrong. It, it kind of works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't work. I do recommend that you turn on automatically switch to performance mode when you're launching a game. That is a pretty cool feature. Uh, I actually saw it go live when I was playing Street Fighter, but when I started playing Fortnite, it didn't go to performance mode. It actually stayed in quiet mode. Now, a couple of things that I like about Vantage, which is right here in one software, you are able to actually configure your network boosts right here. You are able to configure your hybrid mode, which is by default turned on. You have your overdrive, you have rapid charge, which by default is turned off. Uh, I would turn it on if you want a quick charge. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Legion 5i from Lenovo. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Do not forget about punch, elbow, and smashing that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace out.